Hi everyone, happy Thanksgiving. Yep, today is Thanksgiving Day. And I thought I would, because I always fill my bird feeders on Thanksgiving, make sure they're very full. And even take uh, seeds over to the pond across the street that you can see there. And make sure that the wild birds have a little bit of a Thanksgiving feast too. So I just want to show you the feeders I have. This is my front yard setup. And this is my newest, the latest and greatest. The lighting, of course, is going to suck out here because it is Florida and you're either too sunny or no sun. But this is the Squirrel Buster Suet Feeder. And it holds two cakes, one on either side. And if something heavy gets on it, boom, the shroud comes down and covers the suet. It also has a little crumb tray here. Yep. Wow, look at the size of that boat coming down the street. Anyway, <laughs> has a little crumb, crumb tray so it catches anything that falls and it gives the birds another second chance to consume that. I haven't really had good luck with suet in Florida. So I thought maybe if I, you know, went with a really well-crafted suet feeder, maybe it would make a difference. If not, maybe it's just warm and it goes rancid. So, all right. So then I also have the same brand, the Squirrel Buster made by Braum, I think it is. I think they're made in Ontario, Canada, maybe. They're really, from what I've seen, some of the best on the market. But anyway, this just holds peanuts. And for some reason, it's getting kind of stuck. So when a heavy bird gets on it, or a squirrel, I should say, uh, it shuts. You can adjust it to where even a heavy bird would do that. What's happening right now is like when they pull it down, it's not going all the way back up. They're only getting that little bit. And I just clean this thing and put it back together. The squirrels actually will knock my feeders down sometimes and break them. All right, so this was my first squirrel buster. And uh, yeah, this is just the big giant tube. And you can see it's had a lot of use. They peck at it. <laughs> and in this one, I just feed its uh, black oil sunflower seeds. It is sapphire, sapphire, safflower. Sorry, I have a hard time saying that. Those are these white ones. And it's got a little bit of millet in there, too. It's a very popular feeder. As is the peanut feeder is, too, but it's only for certain birds. And then this one, I think this is my... I have two of these, the other one's in the backyard. I think it's kind of broken, but this has millet, niger, I forget what else, the, the small seeds. And it's hanging a lot lower than I would like it to hang, so I've got to figure out something else to raise it up just a little bit. Although, the way it is right now, it's wonderful for me because I can see all three of these feeders out the door. Ah, better. Now I know which way I need to face. Out the door. <laughs> out the window from my office window I can see them all okay let's look at the next one okay all oh, the birds are oh look a downy can you see him oh there he is he's on the peanut feeder he's not quite sure how to make it work though there you go it I'm trying to see if it, it looks like it might have closed just a little bit on him. Huh. He's not afraid of me. Interesting. He got a peanut. I saw him up in the tree. The light caught him just right where I could tell he had a peanut. All right. <clears throat> so these are definitely not squirrel busters <laughs> because squirrels are on these all the time. And this is a mealy bug, peanuts, sunflower seeds, and raisin kind of thing. And the reason I put these out, because the squirrels eat most of them, and somehow the squirrels managed to open the darn things and drop the whole cake on the ground, but the northern mockingbirds love this, so I do it for them. I don't see a lot of them. I mean, there's a lot of them here. I don't see a lot of them at my feeder if I don't have this. Occasionally they'll come by, but really this is what they stay for. And then this is my, well, my newest bird feeder, actually. I call this the silo. I don't know why. It just reminds me of that. And it holds a ton of seeds. You just wouldn't be have 
heavy it is. I think this is, the brand is, is an Audubon one or something like that. Um, I like how it holds a lot of seeds. The birds seem to like it. I'm not crazy about this mechanism. You pull off and you have to get this on. You have to get, it's, it's not my favorite one to work with, but it's okay. All right, so those are my feeders in the front yard. I have the big hulled sunflower seed. I have the bugs and fruit and nuts. I have sunflower safflower, safflower, I don't know, I can't say that, with a little bit of millet in there. I have the Niger with a little bit of millet. I forgot what the other seed is on there. I have the popular peanut gallery and I now have the suet. So let's go to the backyard and see what's there. Okay, this is the sunflower safflower, safflower mixture. It's called uh, Cardinal Blend, Deluxe Wild Bird Food. And this is what I put in that big feeder and uh, the one in the back as well, which you haven't seen yet. For my no waste mix, I use this D-Light, and this is now in the back. This is what I put in the tray, which you'll see when I go to the backyard. And it has sunflowers, peanuts, pistachios, and every once in a while I see some pecans in there. A lot of, uh, some, oh, there's a pumpkin seed looking thing. I don't know what it is. Um, yeah, and hold sunflowers. This is a very popular mix when I had it on the tray in the front yard. It was, I had to fill it more than once a day. Since it's been moved to the backyard, it's been primarily just the morning doves. And uh, yeah, where before it was blue jays, grackles, titmouse, every, everybody, but uh, chickadees, everybody would hit that. It was just easy. Go to the little uh, tray, fly up and sit down. <laughs> So I do like this one and I have not gone through, I was going through a bag of this, uh, gee, it lasted more than a week, but it didn't last two weeks. Now it's lasting a long time. One of the two little um, feeders has this, what they call songbird selection, wild finch and small songbirds. And it's supposed to attract goldfinch, purple finches, pine siskin, bunnings, chick Goodies, tip mice, and more. And let me see if it tells me what's in it. Oh, yeah, it does down here. Niger, sunflower, millet. Yeah. It, but it's chipped sunflower, so it's just pieces, not whole sunflowers, which are covered in other feeders. Is the Lyric. I like that Lyric brand for some reason. Sunflower kernels. Well, they come in big bags. That's part of it. 100% edible food, no shells, no waste. That's not exactly true that there's no waste. It does have like a skin on them. And I watch the birds sit there and eat them. And then pick that skin off. And maybe it's not on all of them. But that's all it is. Just sunflowers. And I have a great scoop for that. You just scoop in the big end so you can get lots in your thing and then you can carry it just like that and you see all the seeds down there and so you can see how much it would hold if you wanted it to and then this end you just tilt and they all come out and then my last one are the peanuts and uh, I used to go through quite a bit of peanuts but I don't know for some reason it hasn't been as popular and I think part of it is because the squirrels have assaulted it so much the feeder that is that it gets stuck in a closed position a lot I have to go out and manually. I have binoculars and I check and see if it is. So these are 100% edible, no waste. And it is just peanuts. Pieces. You'll see. When they're not going through it as fast, I tend not to fill it up all the way. But I did today because it's Thanksgiving and that's my thing. Is the birds get a big, everything gets super filled. And if there's anything special like suet, they're going to go down Thanksgiving and Christmas. And so let's go look at the feeders in the backyard. And then... All right, so we are headed to the back feeders. Don't fall in the pool. Don't run into that <laughs> little ornament thing somebody gave me at one time. It's sort of like my burglar alarm. Someone, 
rounds the corner, I'm going to hear them when they smash into it. All right, so here's my tray feeder. Now, this isn't the same one you've seen in previous videos because the squirrels tore the other one up. And probably weather contributed too, but primarily the squirrels. So I got a new one. This one's Nature's Way. I think my other one was a different brand. And you can see this is the... Okay, let's see if I can get the light right. So this is that... It's under... I have them put an umbrella over them because it was, you know, we get a rainy season. Plus shade, plus just a little bit of cover from hawks or something because it's not like the front yard where there's really good landing trees. There's an areca palm and stuff here, but there's not a great... Where they really use is this crepe myrtle behind our fence and it's pretty bare of leaves right now. So I want to give them some kind of protection from predators. But anyway, so it has the that mixture. It looks like it's down to mostly peanuts that they've taken the uh, seeds out. The uh, sunflower seeds are out of there, so they've left it with. But this is not just peanuts. This was the actual mixture. Interesting. Hmm. All right, then I have this little <coughs> seed cage, suet cage, and uh, it has pieces of suet in it because when I was putting suet in the new one, one of the, what do you call it, cakes, was all broken and I didn't want to risk getting it stuck because I don't have a lot of experience with that feeder yet. So I just put them in here and stuck this out here. It will not be a permanent addition because I don't think suet's going to end up being popular enough for me to have two suet feeders, but you know, something, you do something with it. Okay, and then this has got the sunflower mixture that you saw in the garage. Eddie says, what you doing out here? I came out to I came out to go potty and you're in my way. <laughs> so actually I think this is the broken one and it's pretty rusty. This is my original one and it's old, yeah. It's pretty rusty. But I've had it a long time. And so yeah. Squirrel gets on it, boom, closes up. But yeah, safflower. Um the uh chickadees like safflowers, but they also like the black seed. So let me go check my other bag of sunflower seeds and see if it's the same thing. So that's my little setup for the backyard. And you'll notice there's a camera there, right there. <laughs> so I can see who's there and what's going on. Yeah, here it is. Black oil seed, sunflower seeds, saffron seeds, striped sunflower seeds, okay. I can't help but brag when I was out there shooting video on the bird feeders. I kept smelling this wonderful flower through the screen porch. Oh my. It's wonderful. Well, I hope you're having a great Thanksgiving day. I know many of us are not with our families as normal for whatever reasons. Uh, and uh, but that we make the best of it and hopefully we all stay safe and maybe we can get together Christmas, if not Christmas, by 4th of July. Happy Thanksgiving everyone. Thanks for watching.